This is so exciting. So I'm happy to meet you and and chat with you. I'm new to this world and it's something that's been a passion of mine for two and a half years. I've been working on this. So I would love to just kind of get to know some of your tips and some of your inspiration and how you practice self-love with what you do. So my first question was going to be, how do you feel about makeup and what does it make you feel? You know what? Makeup to me, it's so much more than just, you know, the beauty part. I've been doing makeup tutorials for over 10 years already. Um, and throughout the whole process, I've learned so much through my own experiences and the people that follow me. Because for instance, you may think, yeah, it's just to make us feel beautiful or enhance our best features, but it's just so much more than that. Yeah. I've heard and I've experienced myself so many times that you apply makeup as a form of self-expression or you just yeah. use it as a creative outlet. Beyond Halloween, sometimes you you just want to paint it's not even that has any you know any reasoning you just want to experiment and it's a way also to distract yourself especially right now with everything that we're going through sometimes I just sit down and maybe I'm not even going to turn on the camera I just want to to, to feel something different, to think about something else, something positive, and just let go. So I've learned that makeup is just another form of expression and art. That's so beautifully said, honestly, because there are such beauty standards and, you know, I definitely I want to be a good addition to this space and I'm 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 so happy to hear you say that because it's it's what I do. I mean, in everything I do, I it can create a character for me on set. It can, you know, change a whole music video into something transformative and and ex exactly what you said, a form of expression and then there's fashion that also takes it to a different level and it's 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 intimidating, but overall, I think that message is something that was important to me was this is a form of expression, but this is makeup made to feel good in. There is no sort of pressure. I, I want this to be a trustworthy brand. I want people to feel good when they wear it. And, you know, I hope that everyone feels included. And that was really important for me. So I'm very, I'm very happy. I wanted to ask you, um, okay, so who, who inspires you? Um, when it comes to beauty and makeup? You know what, when I first started many years ago, it was my mom because I would mm. see the transformations when she would like apply makeup and even going through, uh, through trends. I mean, you will remember in that, well, maybe not, but in the nineties, you know, the super colorful makeup that now we see again yeah. and then we went through smoky eyes in the early two thousands and then back into something like more romantic. So seeing all the trends and how you could play with them, it was such an inspiration to me. But nowadays it's just the people that follow me that keep me inspired. I mean, honestly, they own community it's just like we are just feeding out of each other and it's very nice so my everyday source of inspiration it's actually the beauty community oh that's honestly really sweet i feel like there's so much to be said um in this field and i think that i knew you know when i was starting i was like i don't want to be a part of something that i can't just put i, mean, I just can't put my name on something without a purpose and you know, I care deeply about mental health. I care deeply about people and self-love. And um, and I think that this was a form of expression for me. I wanted it to be something that I could enjoy and that people don't feel pressure, don't feel, don't feel alone. And like yourself, having fans and people that follow you is a, a whole part of, honestly, my existence, you know, it's... <laughs> I, I grow, grow up, up with, with people, I have, and um, and this, this was something that I knew I wanted to do, so... Actually, I got to see all of your makeup line, and it is very amazing. When I opened the box, actually, I was, I was not... I didn't know what to expect because I had not seen anything. And, I mean, so many years on YouTube, that was my very first time that I was opening a, P, a PR package without knowing anything about the brand. It was oh. so... <laughs> Cool experience. Now I have to ask you because I went through everything and the little information that I got. I mean, it's called rare beauty. How is beauty rare to you? I think the word is is just not used as often. And you know, there is you know the saying of like everyone's not perfect and be who you are. Yes, that's of course what you should do. But I also think that you should be 
a part of your own story, your own self-love. And this was definitely a, a chapter for me and exciting. And I actually recorded, you know, my whole album is named Rare and my single was Rare as well because I, we are that. You know, we're, we're very different, but not one of us is perfect. We're rare. I see it in, in everything. When I'm working with people, I, I tend to just find it. I compliment people on it all the time. I'm just like, I notice things. Like I, I think you have such beautiful eyes. I think you have, you know, beautiful skin or whatever it is. It's, it's, it makes you feel, I want it to feel like it's just something I can enjoy and that other people can find easy to enjoy while building up as much as you want. I absolutely love that. And actually, if you think about it, the only thing that we all share in common is that we're all rare. We're all unique. Yeah. I mean, we're not the same. And that's what we should be celebrating. And that's the one thing that I absolutely loved above and beyond from your brand, because it's something that we have not seen. And the strong messaging that you have behind your brand, I was so surprised about it. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Of course. Um, I'm, I'm huge um, when it comes to mental health awareness and all things that have to do with that community. And so... There is a huge part of, of makeup and body. It's, it's all connected, you know? It's how you see yourself. It's, it's more than just that, you know? You, how do you take care of yourself and what does that mean to you? And so I think, yeah, I think that it's, it's something that's beyond makeup. You know, I, I started, you know, we started our launch and the, the goal, our mission is to raise 100 million in 10 years for mental health causes, issues, it's going to be involving mental health because I, I believe in it and it has so much to do with everything that you do. And I want to be a part of that change. That's so nice. And actually you could tell how you were incorporating pieces, like so many pieces into your brand. I mean, from the names, every single shade had such an uplifting name. It was just like so nice to read every single one. It made mm -hmm. me happy. I mean, reading every single oh, one God. made me happy. And it took me a while to realize, I was like, oh my God, all these words are making me so happy. So you should Good. think that people who are going to be even choosing their shade, they're going to feel just so happy through the process. And that was so nice. I can't wait. Yes, it's, it's um, extremely inclusive. We have 48 shades and even as far as color, the pigment that my brand has is um, so unique and special, I believe, because it is, it's, it's something that maybe you need on the go or, you know, just to feel good in. And, and I want that to be this. But at the same time, watching makeup artists who actually just do everything to enhance it um, is a, such a beauty form of, I can't, it's almost in, beautiful, like, you know, how people can transform themselves. So I'm, I want, I want my place to be safe and easy. That's so cool. You should know that in this beauty community, even though we've seen so many products, so many lines, I have never personally seen anything like what you're doing right now. Such a strong Thank message, you. a brand that is so solid, especially the collection that you're launching to start is very, very, very impressive. And I review makeup pretty much every single day. I review new lounges every day as well. So I was very, very impressed. You're doing something very good. And that's one, another thing that you want to be remembered and your brand for something more than just beauty, but how that it's making you feel, and especially in the mental health state, people are gonna remember how that they feel, they feel when they were even choosing the color and just reading every single shade, they're gonna make them so happy. I cannot Thank wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. That honestly means so much to me because it's exactly what I want it to be. But I wanted to ask you a question as well. I, what inspired you as far as you know, the YouTube world and in makeup, beauty, and um, that world. What, who or what has inspired you? I started so long ago that I was playing. So there was no such, I mean, I didn't even have a plan. I was just like sharing online. And what I liked was that even though back then it was very small, it was a lot of people from all over the world and we were sharing common interests. And it, that was very, it was very cool to connect with people all over the world. And we we're just talking about beauty 
But then mm. later I realized that it was way deeper than just applying makeup and feeling beautiful and enhancing features. It was just so much more than that to the mm. point that right now, like when this is all said and done, I don't want to be remembered for the girl that was doing beauty reviews or reviewing lounges or teaching us how to do a smoky eye. I want to people, I want for people to remember me as someone that made me, made them feel in a certain way. Or when they were down. I mean, I've, I've, I've heard so many stories. Oh, Rosie, I was in the hospital. And throughout those days, I was watching your, your videos. And there were, at least it was just a form of distraction that it was healthy and it was positive. And that's what I love. I mean, I feel that nowadays the beauty community is just so much more than beauty. It is just an uplifting community. And to keeping, to keeping it positive and light, I think it's the most important. Because that's all we need in the world, honestly. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And that's... That's all I want this to be, and of course, that's how I want people to feel when they hold my products or anything. That it, that I care much, much more about what this is feeling on the inside and enhancing what I don't know. Whatever you want, not any sort of standard. And you're just a few days away from that. <laughs> I, I feel so weird to say um it's like crazy i mean even you know through the whole process we're go constantly we were going through new things and i was just like i don't know what to do um I, or how i wanted it to be so i'm super excited and i'm excited for you as well to to try whatever it is that you try with my makeup because i think that's the most exciting part for me i've I've lived with this for a while, so I kind of know what I would do with it. And at the same time, I want to know how other people are using it, what they like, what they don't like, and you know, it's, it's, I'm very involved. So I'm, I am just more than happy to be a part of this community and to, actually I feel like I, I got to jump on board on a really good time. Like you said, people need it, so that is for sure. <laughs> Yes. One of your lipsticks. This one was my favorite. This is great. Ah. Loved it. Yes. <laughs> it is so. When I tested everything, I was like, that's my color. That's so unique. I love it. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. You know, my lip souffles are probably one of my favorite, favorite things of the collection. I have way too many and I change my mind a lot. But it, it, these lip souffles feel so good and the color is is very intense and i like that you know it kind of stays with you it is it's just one time i went out and i was wearing my red and i actually ended up coming home and i slept in it on accident and i had maybe one streak on my pillow and i was like what the heck like i was like I mean, it didn't look good i obviously you know should take it off comfortable it the formula is super comfortable because i have super dry lips so i really cannot do the formula that dries completely matte because my yeah. lips look just cracked the entire day but this one it's one that i can feel that i can move and my lips feel very moisturized when i saw right. it i was like oh no it's another lipstick that's gonna dry matte and my lipstick my lips are gonna look horrible when i tried it on i was like oh Oh, this is one of the moves. I mean, it feels very velvety. It was very yeah, nice. definitely. I actually, I actually deal with the same thing, and so even when it comes to some of these lipsticks that I did, there's so much moisture packed inside, and uh, one of them is called Honor, and it is actually just to, uh, to moisturize. It's a see-through that shape. look. It is, and so you could do that before, and you can after, even after, if you feel like few hours you want to put that on but it is so comfortable that you can continue to just put layers on and and that that was that was really really special obviously i'm a red girl so <laughs> red was was really exciting for me and it's one of my favorites what was the lipstick line your most exciting product to create or you don't have a favorite Oh, I don't have a favorite. Oh, I really don't. It's, it's, it think it, I think it stands on its own. And the foundation is beautiful. I mean, it makes your skin feel very, very healthy. Thank you. I, I, what I love about my line, if I may say, is that, you know, the, the color element is so important because I feel like I travel so much, I work so much, I'm doing things um, in multiple different areas that even just putting on some blush or some of my foundation, it feels really good. And it doesn't feel like a lot, you know, it feels moisturizing and the color stays. And then at the same time, I've watched 
you know, Hung, who I work very closely with, uh, create things that I would never be able to do. And, and so then it can show you how my, my brand really works. And so that is, that's, um, I don't know, that's exciting. I know, and the range is very good as well. Thank you. Yes, I have 48 shades um, as far as blushes. Yeah, and I have it all here, which is so cool because I get so proud of it. Um, there's just so much that I want to share with people and I want everyone to feel included and I want it to be a place that you can be a part of, that you don't feel alone. You know, mental health is a huge aspect um, to what I'm doing and uh, as far as like, you know, what we're doing with Rare, a big focus of that is, is paying attention to how your mind and how your soul connects to all of that. So I'm excited to, tr to do it all, you know, in this world. I have never seen one launch that people were so obsessed so many months in advance. And every single time they post something new on the Rare Beauty Instagram, they're like, are you buying it? Are you buying it? Are we going to have a review? Are you going to have Aww. a review? You want to see everything. People want to see everything. This is really, that's very sweet to me. I've, I feel like I've grown up with a lot of people and um, whether you like me or don't, I, I want this to be something that's special and, and you can feel good in. So, and, and have it be a safe place for everyone, you know, and I, and I'm very proud of that. So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I can't wait to, to see what you're going to do and what your fans will react to. So thank you for this opportunity. No, thank you. I'm so excited and I cannot wait for the lounge. People are going to go crazy when they see yeah. from the packaging yeah. to the color range to the many products. I was like, oh my God, it's not just one or two because I thought it was just going to be foundation. I don't know why yeah. I thought it was going to be foundation. So when I opened the box, I was like, wait, what is this? Because <laughs> I can only imagine it's, people. They're going to go crazy. I'm so excited. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so happy for you. And thank you so much to you for giving me this opportunity. This is the very first time that I get the chance to talk to the creator prior to the lounge. And th this is very, very exciting for me. Thank you. And um, thank you for letting me do it. And hopefully one day when, you know, the future unfolds, I'd get to meet you. And, um, you know, that's... That's all I hope, you know, is we can be healthy and be together and share what we love together. We will, I know. <laughs> <laughs>